Hey guys, SiroTex00 here, and today I'm gonna test the Kaspersky antivirus with the Bdefender antivirus versus a few malwares, basically a ransomware, a ROG, and a Trojan. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and let's get straight to it. Before this video starts, please don't try any of this on the real system, since it could occur data loss and infection in the process. Now, enjoy the video! Ok guys, so here is the first test with the Kaspersky antivirus, so as you guys can see we have all the protections enabled and now I'm gonna run all these malwares as you guys can see from here, I mean the Trojan, ROG and ransomware in 3, 2, 1. Ok, yes, and let's see, ok so as you guys can see here it says that your antivirus final detection rate is 100%, 3 out of 3 executables have been blocked by your antivirus. So that means that the Kaspersky antivirus has detected and stopped all the malware from running. So with that, we can move on to the second test. Ok guys, so the second test with the Kaspersky antivirus is gonna be with all the advanced threat protections disabled, as you guys can see from here. Everything else is enabled by the way, so only these protections are off. And now, let's run once again all these malwares in 3, 2, 1. Yes. And once again, as you guys can see, the Kaspersky antivirus has detected and stopped all the malwares. As you guys can see, 3 out of 3 uh, blocked by antivirus. So I guess with that, once again, we can move on into the third test. Ok guys, so the third test is gonna be with the file antivirus protection off, as you guys can see here. And now, once again, let's run all these malwares in 3, 2, 1. Ok, yes. And once again guys, as we can see the Kaspersky antivirus has detected and stopped all the malwares from running. So with that, we can get into the final test. Ok guys, so the final test, aka the last test, is gonna be with all the protections off, as you guys can see here, and after running all the malwares, I'm gonna re-enable all the protections as fast as possible, and I'm gonna hope that Kaspersky is gonna detect all these malwares in time after I'm gonna re-enable all the protections. So with that, I'm gonna run the Maltester program which runs all these malwares, and before pressing enter, I'm gonna click this button, so I'm gonna press it in 3, 2, 1. Ok, so I enabled all the prote- Ok, I don't know what those errors- Oh, ok guys, we have some bad- Oh, yeah, we do have some bad news, so as we guys can see here, it says 2 out of 3 executables have been blocked by antivirus, so basically not all the malwares have been blocked after I enabled all the protections, and as you guys can clearly see, that one malware that unfortunately ran after we enabled all the protections was the WannaCry ransomware. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go here at this defect and restart the computer. And we are gonna see how the computer is gonna be after the disinfection and the restart. So I'm gonna see you guys at the disinfection and at the restart. Ok guys, so as we can see the system has restarted and uh, yeah, as we can see from the desktop it doesn't seem like any of these files got encrypted so I guess that's a bit of a good sign. Also the system does seem to work, let's check task manager and see if it does work. And ok, let's check the details as well. And as you guys can see... It doesn't seem like any ransomware or any type of malware is running in background. So I think we should be fine. I mean, I think the system should be uh, okay. So even though uh, the files from this folder got encrypted, unfortunately, at least the files from the desktop and I'm assuming from the whole computer didn't got encrypted, I guess. I'm not sure. But yeah, with that, I guess we are gonna get into the Bdefender tests. Ok guys, so the first test on Bdefender is gonna be with all the protections enabled on the Bdefender antivirus and running all these malwares once again, so let's run all these malwares now in 3, 2, 1. 
Okay, let's type here yes. And as you guys can see, the B Defender antivirus has detected and stopped all the three malwares from running. Uh, as you guys can see here, three out of three execu executables, sorry about that, have been blocked by your antivirus. So with that, I guess we can move on into the second test for the B Defender antivirus. Okay guys, so the second test is gonna be with the Advanced 3 Defense Protection disabled. As you guys can see, this is the only disabled protection, the rest of the protections are on. So with that guys, let's run all the malwares once again in 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's run all of them. Come on. Um, yes. And as you guys can see, once again, the B Defender antivirus has detected and stopped all the three malwares from running. As you guys can see, once again, three out of three executables have been blocked by your antivirus. So with that guys, let's get further into the third test for the B Defender antivirus. Okay guys, so the third test is gonna be with the antivirus protection of only. As you guys can see here, this is the only protection disabled. And uh, yeah. Now let's run all the malwares once again in 3, 2, 1. Okay, oh yes. And as we as can see, unfortunately I got, uh, as with the Kaspersky antivirus, unfortunately I got infected once again with the WannaCry ransomware because as we as can see here it says that two out of three executables have been blocked by our antivirus. And as we guys have noticed, some things from the WannaCry ransomware, it's obviously that we got infected with the WannaCry ransomware. So with that, I guess we are gonna get further into the quick scan and we are gonna see what's gonna happen from there. Okay guys, so as we can see the quick scan has finished and as you guys can see here the dev tool got uh, detected while we did this quick scan and just know guys the, the dev tool is not a malware, it's just deactivating the Windows Defender antivirus as you guys can see here because sometimes when I'm recording videos, Windows Defender could detect the malwares instead of letting the other antivirus to detect them, so that's why I'm deactivating it by using this tool every time I'm doing a video and that's why this thing gets always detected because uh, most of the antiviruses are thinking that this is a malware but it's just a tool so with that I'm just gonna take no action there we go and with that guys let's get further into the restart and see how the system is gonna look like Okay guys, so as we can see the system has powered on, I mean the restart went with success, we booted in the system, and as well as you can see, as with the Kaspersky antivirus, the system seems to be fine, uh, there doesn't seem to be any infection going on, let's check task manager, and the details here, so as you guys can see there, it doesn't seem to be any malware running in the background, so I guess the system should be fine, I guess that the B-Defender antivirus did a great job after all because as well as you can see, this file paper didn't get encrypted as well with these other files from the desktop, only the files from that folder once again got encrypted unfortunately because there was the ransomware as well, but overall the system seems to be completely fine and working. So with that guys, the final winner of this video is gonna be unfortunately the Kaspersky antivirus. Why? Because the Kaspersky antivirus survived all the four tests, I mean the first, second, third and last slash final test, but the B-Defender antivirus unfortunately survived only the first, second and third test. But that doesn't mean that the B-Defender antivirus is a bad antivirus. It doesn't mean it like that, but yeah, unfortunately it kind of failed at the third test. So yeah, the final winner once again is the Kaspersky antivirus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend both the antiviruses by the way, so yeah, both of them are good, as soon as you keep all the protections on, you shouldn't have any issues with the system, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, 
see ya and stay healthy and see you guys with new videos in the future and yeah bye bye